Hey guys, it's Jay Sweet Red Panda here, and today I want to do something different. I've been watching a lot of Casey Neistat's um, vlogs, and I love his sunglasses, his custom glasses. So I have, I don't really, well I do wear sunglasses, but that's his thing. So I have an AT2020 that I use for my stream and all my recording, and I thought, well, if it works for his glasses, then it should work for my microphone. So the AT2020 has a sticker around it which has the logo, like the branding, and it also has uh, where the back of the microphone is. So the first thing I did was take off the, the sticker there, which revealed the screws and such, but I didn't want to pull the microphone apart uh, just in case I broke it. So I just taped up the, the vents and uh, made sure that I got my knife and put it into the vent section, like uh, made sure that there was no gaps between the vents and the frame of the microphone, as you can see here. Uh, now that it's taped, what we do is we get the paint of our cho choosing. So that could be per orange, purple, blue, whatever. I'm gonna go with white because that's what I have. But, uh, so let's go and spray paint. I just grabbed any old white undercoat. I figured that matte finish uh, would definitely be the better choice. So uh, we, we've got our, uh, our, cam our, our microphone here. And so we're gonna just give it a good old rattle. It's been a couple of hours and uh, our microphone is dry. Now, reality is, right, this will look sick just as it is, but it's not unique. You know, anyone can spray their their microphone and Casey makes a great uh, call of that call is custom. And so uh, what we're going to do, Casey used a, uh, Casey Neistat used a pop stick, but I don't have a pop stick. I have an iPhone prying tool and uh, because I fixed my iPhone. So uh, what we're going to do is just get our prying tool and take away the tape first of all. So let's have a look. Let's see how well I grate. Okay so even a couple of pieces like see how like a few things new marks and stuff like that. If we were just painting this on its own uh, that would be an issue. That would be an issue because you wouldn't want any kind of just paint uh like anything like that so you know this would be perfect just like this would be sick um but it's not what i want and so what we're gonna do is just scrape scrape the paint away it's just giving it this unique look and so hopefully i can make this look really cool uh and get most of that paint off uh and so it'll just be I may have done it a little bit too thick. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. So it'll just be like paint ships. I think this is still a little bit too wet. Uh, but uh, let's, I'll give it a little longer to dry because that is really moist. Well guys, it's been two days since this project started and I've been scraping and scraping and scraping a little bit crazy however i am talking on my a2 2020 and uh, i am finished now i still got a bit more work to do on it uh let me just take it off um hold on i'm actually really really happy with this i had to make a mark at the back here uh to tell me that it's the back of the microphone apart from the front um and uh, I've still got a bit more work to do. I'm gonna be taking a bit more of this off. Um, I decided to leave like the side here. I'm really wrapped about, um, but I've got a bit more work to do. I love, I love that it looks like it's been through a paint war kind of thing. So uh, that was my main thing I loved about the Casey Knight state glasses. And so I'm stoked about this. Um, and I think it gives like a real unique unique look to it um i i think the couple of things that i did that uh could have been done better one uh maybe the undercoat maybe the type of paint i used 
could have been better. Uh, it was just cheap $3 can of paint. Um, and also, I reckon I did it too thick. So maybe not undercoat, maybe something that could peel really nicely uh, or do a clear over top. The other thing that I, um, I picked up on this so far is that because I took the uh, tape off straight away and just wanted to see it, the the white specks have gone onto the mesh which I didn't want but however I'm happy with that as you can see it sits on my microphone stand still really nicely it's got like a bit of a funk to it and when I'm streaming all you'll see is this top here I'll probably get a marker or I'll do my best to get like now polish remover um, to clean just that little white speck there however I'm stoked with this well guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please make sure you leave a comment down below let's do a little uh, sneaky sneaky if you've watched this video to the end let's say banana in your comment to let me know that you've watched it to the end but uh, make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check our Minecraft series and our five top gifts uh, to give for Christmas. That's enough for me today. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.